All right, you guys, it's time to have that adult conversation. Put up a cheer. Let's talk Jerry Goff. Let's talk about the expectations for Jerry Goff in 2022. I wanted to talk about this because I know that the fan base is divided when it comes to the Jared Goff experience or the Jared Goff uh, conundrum or whatever you want to call it. But I'm just going to say no excuses for Jared Goff in 2022. You guys wanted Jared Goff. You have him. You know, we did, uh, the Lions have pretty much kind of put it out there that they're not going to go out to Malik Willis. Um, it looks like it's going to be Kayvon Thibodeau. It's going to be that number two pick overall. I know some fans want Kyle Hamilton. Some fans want George K. Some fans want Trevon Walker, uh, Aiden Hutchinson. We're all over the place with what we want. And, you know, we all have the right to express our opinion the way we want to express our, our opinion. And today I just want to give my opinion and my two cents to the Jerry Goff situation. Now, when it comes to Jerry Goff, last season when I saw him play, I wasn't really thrilled with the way he was uh, commanding the offense at the beginning of the season. But then, okay, Jared Goff cleans up his act towards the end of the year. And basically everybody at the beginning of the season, everybody wanted him out of here. Everybody wanted his job taken. Uh, a lot of people didn't want Jared Goff to be on part of this roster anymore. And then all of a sudden, Jared Goff has uh, – he starts playing well towards the end of the season and everybody starts having a change of heart and everybody probably is thinking like, yeah, we probably can win with Jerry Goff. The biggest thing from Jerry Goff is that he's going to have to can prove to the fans and to everyone and to himself too, as well, is that he can be consistent in Detroit. I mean, you know, let's face it. Matthew Stafford was you no, know, no matter how you felt about Matthew Stafford, he was the best quarterback that Detroit has ever had, you know, that I've ever laid my eyes upon in Detroit. He was the best that they could ever get. Now, Jared Goff is trying to replace someone that went out and replaced him in one season in Matthew Stafford. They flip-flop uh, places. Jared Goff comes to Detroit. Matthew Stafford goes to the Rams and wins a uh, championship. Now, we know that the Rams team is a pretty good team. We knew the only thing that they really need needed was a quarterback. And uh, Jared Goff, whether you like him or you hate him, he's going to be the quarterback in Detroit. But the biggest thing is, will the Detroit Lions regret not taking him Malik Willis? And I'm not saying that they got to take him, but will they regret it? Or will it be, you know what I'm saying, we're cool, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to walk away with Bryce Young next season, and we'll be able to walk away with uh, C.J. Stroud. And those are not the only two quarterbacks in the draft next year. So you need to do your homework on the quarterbacks because those are not the only two quarterbacks coming into the draft. And in order for the Detroit Lions to even draft those guys, they're going to be have, they're gonna have to be probably – in the top 10, somewhere in the top 10 to be able to get those two players because those guys will probably go first. Quarterbacks that are normally good, they go first. We know that. It's a it's a premium position in the NFL, and so is the pass rushing position. It's a premium uh, position. So we know that those guys, and, all, and then also when it comes to protecting the quarterback, that is looked at as a premium position because you've got to be able to protect your quarterback. Now, it's no excuses for golf this season. He'll have everything that he needs to have. He'll have a run game led by DeAndre Swift, Jamal Williams, Craig Reynolds, Godwin, and uh, also um, Jamar Jefferson, if he's still a part of this team. And then, you you know, the Lions even made it comfortable for him. And they're bringing back Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, uh, added addition, and DJ Chark to the roster as well. And we still have TJ Hawkinson. And pretty much with that being said is that there's no excuses for golf not to be able to get it done. He has everything that he needs to be able to, to win some football games this season. Now, I'm not going to go out on a limb and say he's going to go out there and tear it up because I know that this is the Detroit Lions and we don't just do things like that. Even though we got an easy schedule, it's never easy for us. Our schedule is always tough and always hard. Because we always, at the end of the games, don't know how to close out games in the fourth quarter. 
So we end up losing a game. It could be a 19 to 16 game. We end up losing it because we we give up a fourth and 18 or something, fourth and 19. And we give it up and they kick a field goal and end up winning the game. So what I'm saying, guys, is that it's no excuses for Jared Goff. You won them and now you got them. The Lions have pretty much put it out there and said that this is our quarterback. Uh, Rod Wood, your president of the Lions, said that this is our quarterback. Um, pretty much Brad Holmes has put it out there and said that this is our quarterback. And then also not Brad Holmes, but even uh, Dan Campbell says that you don't need an elite quarterback to sustain success. Now, the only how you can really say a comment like that from Dan Campbell is that you have an elite defense. Now, when teams like the Ravens won, okay, okay, they may didn't have an elite quarterback, but guess what? They had an elite defense. The Lions have nowhere near an elite defense. We're not even a top 10 defense in the league. So to make a comment and to say what Dan Campbell said, man, <laughs> I just put it like this, guys. Don't, don't write a check that your butt can't, that your butt can't cash. Plain and simple. Don't write a check that your butt can't cash because the Lions defense is not a top rated defense. So we can't make statements like that because we don't have the personnel on our team. Look at our linebackers. We got Alex Anzalone. We have Jared Davis, who we brought back. We have Chris Board. Uh, we have Derek Barnes. I mean, we don't really have studs at linebackers, you know, Derek Brown is still unproven. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to really come at him, but we already experienced Jared Davis. We know what he brings to the table. Sometimes he's going to miss tackles. Uh, sometimes he's not going to be able to drop back in coverage like he should be. I mean, sometimes you just, you know, you just got to see all this stuff. But with Alex Anzalone, you know what I'm saying? He's okay. To me, he's more of a depth type of linebacker. He's not a starting caliber linebacker to me. And that's just my opinion personally. But there is no excuses, guys, for Jared Goff being a part of this roster in 2022 and not being able to get the job done because I'm sure that the Lions will probably end up drafting a wide receiver too as well. But I think that the Lions mainly are going to go out to defense. So everybody that wanted to get defense, you're going to get your way. The coach is going to hear you out. The, uh, the, uh, the GM is going to hear you guys out. And you're going to get all defense. You may they may mix it up a little bit. They may grab a offensive lineman just for deaf purposes or something like that. Or they may grab never know. They may just say, hey, okay, let's take a quarterback. Let's take a younger guy that we can see if we can work with them. Never know. I don't know. But from what it's looking like, it looking it's looking like the Lions may not take a quarterback. I don't know if they're going to take one or not. But at the same time, you have to quit running away from the from being able to groom a quarterback. You have to stop running away from grooming a quarterback. You must be able to learn how to groom these young fellas. Having Tim Boyle and David Blau on this roster makes no sense to me. Pretty much you got three Jared Goffs on the team. And, and both of those guys are, are not going to compete with Jared Goff for the starting spot. We already know that. But at the end of the day, you have to say this is that there is no excuses for your quarterback in 2022 because he's going to have all the weapons at his disposal. He's going to have everything that he needs. He's going to have everything, guys. So I don't want people saying that I don't want people saying that Jared Goff pretty much um he didn't have anything. Because that's that's not true. He's getting everything that he needs to be the quarterback in Detroit. So no excuses for Jared Goff in 2022. You wanted Jared Goff and now you got him. And we're going to see if Jared Goff is the real deal in 2022. All right, you guys, I'll be back to you soon with another video. I'm out of here. Peace.